guys, you're here with Barry, and I uh, want to get right to it here. Uh, if this isn't a blockbuster video, it's under five minutes. Again, it's Dr. Rashid Buttar. Uh, breaking, breaking news of a uh, little over a day ago that the Trump administration is dropping Bill Gates, Fauci, the World Health Organization. They are using the Surgeons General to outrank and move behind, and they're using the new information pertaining to the coronavirus. So according to what I'm just understanding in this short, nothing short, pardon the pun, of a blockbuster video that we need to get to every single person. I'm not going to delay. Let's go right to it. This is monumental. There's a reason that this information is being censored. Ask yourself that question. Why is it being censored? There's all sorts of information, guys, that you need to know. The truth has to come out, because if we don't allow the truth to come out, in the next two weeks, they'll get their agenda going. We want the truth, no more. We don't want to deal with this crap anymore. We want the world to be what the world is meant to be, which is a beautiful, abundant place, not this fear-mongering garbage that they're putting out. If there's something that, of this importance that's come out and nobody's talking about it, the media is not talking about it, then you have to ask yourself, what is going on? Why is the media not talking about this? Why are they not covering something so critical? I think it's important that people remember that because people are scared, people are anxious, they need to know that there is a, a larger plan, a higher power at work. When the Surgeon General made this announcement, why wasn't the mainstream media covering it? Why wasn't, why wasn't there you know, every major broadcast station out there covering it? And there's a reason why they weren't covering it. And I'm going to tell you what the reason is. That instead of covering that, this is what they covered. This came out today on, on ABC. Social distancing measures may be necessary until 2000. 22 to contain coronavirus pandemic. This is the misinformation, distraction, diversion tactics from taking the real information that's empowering and trying to scare more people to try to make you paralyzed by, by trying to take away your power, your autonomy. This was just released. It's actually about the Surgeon General. All right, it says, in a stunning turn of events, major plans to reopen U.S. Surgeon General Adams dumps Gates' predictive contagion model. All right, so they've basically taken the contagion model and they've dumped it. And it says, in a stunning turn of events, Surgeon General Jerome Adams explained in an interview on live XM radio that the coronavirus task force has effectively dumped Bill Gates, the Centers for Disease Control, and the World Health Organization predictive contagion model and is now working with the real data. He explained on Cyrus XM, Breibart News host Alex Marlowe that given the new data, businesses will begin to reopen as early as May, others in June. As early as May, we're already open and we're going to continue to be open. This runs contrary to the out of fear mongering of Dr. Fauci and Bill Gates who have made a media tour threatening the public that businesses may not reopen for six months to a year or until the unless governments purchase the conveniently patented big pharma vaccinations. According to Adams, what the American people need to know is we actually have data, and so we're tracking that data. Before his about face, which appears to have come as an order from the Trump administration, and in consultation with the findings of Dr. Adams, the task force was working with predictive models which have been created by the Bill Gates-dominated World Health Organization and the Centers for Disease Control. Dr. Fauci's control over the CDC has been criticized in the past for its I for profit motive in the handling of ranges of illnesses from HIV to H1N1. So guys, now is the momentum. Everything that we've been saying, everything I've been saying, everything the doctor, the other doctors have been saying, the ones that have been not fear mongering, the ones that are saying fear mongering, stay in your houses, stay 13 feet away from yourself. That's the kind of BS that they just, I can't even, I can't even justify them because if they had any scientific integrity or if they had one freaking synapse, meaning that they were one neuron short of a synapse, they, they would have never said that because everything they were saying was just not based on science. So this is fantastic news for the country. It's fantastic news for the world and for the rest of the people out there that had their heads so far up. You know, you know what? Tell them that they should never, ever, ever allow themselves to be fear motivated like this. The, the truth is the truth. And to 
jaded with misinformation and, uh, and the hype that the, that the media has put out there and Fauci's model and Gates's model. Uh, this, is, this is so exciting. So listen, guys, I'm not going to keep on belaying the point, but pass this on, pay it forward, let the world know this is happening. I'm so happy right now. Pay it forward, pass it on. I purposely let those uh, bosses at the end with the what appeared to look like vaccine fluid or blood behind them. I purposely want to let you know I let that. Hey, listen, some of the key points here, and I'm not going to dwell on this because this should be perhaps the most viral video that's ever hit, uh, certainly from us. And we've done quite a few good ones together with your help. Okay. when So in other words, from what we're led to understand, from Dr. Buttar, they have dropped Gates, the information, that plan, using that information with Gates and Fauci, and through the Surgeons General have gone, uh, also, by the way, the health or, uh, World Health Organization, so they've dismissed that, and they're going with the new information, okay? Now, obviously, we, all of us, have been pushing this new information now for near two months, getting on two months or a month and a half and two, when it first started to appear. So, you know, uh, a big high five goes out to everybody involved for doing that. I mean, you've got to remember, the masses are always going to be behind you. It's a difficult way to think, but... Geez, we're trying to trying to get you to see it that way, okay? And uh, you can always plan them being six to eight weeks roughly behind you, okay? So now that you're getting to experience that more and more by staying tuned and helping us distribute stuff, now that the Surgeon General, there was a couple of things, though, that um, came out uh, when he was quoting Jerome Adams, the Surgeon General, and... Uh, you know, using misinformation to scare people, I totally agree. I took, but when they say they have bigger plans and they have bigger, uh, more information in a different organization, I uh, immediately, to me, I'm not disputing this is not a blockbuster, but <clears throat> maybe it's over three decades of research. I don't know, but those are classic red flag terms, okay? Uh, for example, when you would hear uh, a former president, um, just an example, uh, I remember Obama when saying, we have systems in place for that. I've heard that as far back as the Reagan administration. Again, I'm, you know, I'm in my 60s. And uh, that's a code for we're feeding you with SHI, you know what? Because uh, basically they know where these words come from. I study Latin and I study Greek Latin and Euro and all different forms of language. Where words originate from and they've been tricked. So they, there's so much trickery. But basically when they're saying we have systems in place, when you analyze where words like system and this and that and systerma and where it comes from the roots, you basically understand that they're shoving a bunch of you know what? Down the block, down the pipeline. Okay, so it's these are these are uh, they're scripted statements, and that's the only thing. And uh, forgive me if I'm being a little bit over uh, looking into it a little bit too deep. But if you've studied this and you understand symbolism and you understand where words come from by your own study, you might have picked up on it too. However, this is without a doubt. A blockbuster. Now, is it going to repair the economy? No. Okay, we, we've been through that. Is it going to perhaps get us on the right track and get us back to work quicker, which is what the first thing we've been saying for the past two months is all that's important. See, you guys, by watching us, and those of you that have been on for the whole two months since we shifted to this, we didn't do it to gain popularity. We did it to spread truth, and obviously it's working. All you people that were questioning in the beginning two months later, look at how much you've progressed because you knew. Now others are finding out. That's the difference. 
Keep up the good work. This is without a doubt a blockbuster. Leanne, just as soon as we have time, we're going to be releasing uh, through another one of the blogs, um, okay, a scripted letter to your senator plus very easy point and click uh, on how to get on the U.S. websites in terms of uh, your Congress and how to find your senator by your zip code. It's the simplest thing because uh, there's one thing old Barry knows about politicians, maybe, maybe two. One, they stink at reading. They don't like to read. Okay, That's why so many times you have these laws that are five, six, seven hundred pages and you find out a year later nobody's even read them. Two, they're excellent at math because they associate math with two things, money and votes. And that recipe equals power. So they will throw out the first few hundred thousand of them, I get it. Not a problem. But if you're not willing to go through maybe two minutes, three minutes, five minutes of your time to fight for your freedom, so many of you good people have been asking Barry, we're forwarding this and other stuff, and it's getting out, it's getting out, it's getting out. What more could a simple person like me do? Well, Leanne and I are two simple people in the country of the Dominican Republic. We ain't got half the conveniences most of our subscribers have. So this is something that everybody could do. Also, if you have children over 18, please send this future video in the next couple of days, guys. We're doing the best we can because we have animals in a, a little place that we need to take care of, too. You know, um, but uh, this will be coming out in the next couple of days. But if enough of us keep forwarding, if we forward this short cut and paste letter out to our senators, believe me. Believe me, when they, hmm, this might affect my pocketbook next election, they'll look at it, okay? So until next time, enjoy briefly, briefly enjoy this blockbuster of some positive information. Pass it out to everybody that you know who's scared, because that's exactly what has got them trapped. Ignorance, ignorance leads to fear. We've discussed all this. Now that the U.S. Surgeons General is endorsing this, that the rest of that is crap, let's see if, but again, I, I war, I, I'm cautioning everybody, fear is a very, very, very strong motivator, okay? It blocks out any kind, it's almost like a dimmer switch, more fear, that's common sense. It's not, again, it's not an on-off, it's, it's like, you know, kind of like, um, Light is not the opposite of darkness, it's the absence of darkness. Okay, so look at it kind of from that point of view. This old Barry and DR from Leanne, from the mentors, uh, John, everybody who's helping him, all the people sending stuff in. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now get out there and release this blockbuster because we all need a dose of good news too. Till next time, it's old Barry. Bye.